What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. And for the past few weeks or so, there has been one question that is always asked in every video that I upload. And that is, what happened to your second monitor? Or where did your overhead monitor go? And the answer is, for around three weeks now, I've been testing out and using the new LG 34UC98 monitor as my primary monitor. Just to you know, test it out, put a review out for you guys. But also because this monitor is going to be my go-to primary screen from here on out. And I'm moving in around two to three months and I'm gonna have three of these in a really cool orientation in my new setup. So I wanted to put it to the test to make a review for you guys so you can check out this new monitor from LG and find out why I wanna use it going forward on my channel. Now, first thing out of the box, this thing is a beauty. It is a huge step over my previous monitors and it just looks extremely nice and sleek with very minimal bezels. The LG 34UC98 is LG's newest monitor on the market and they first debuted it at CES 2016 and when I was there, I fell in love with it. So I knew when it was out, I had to get my hands on it to check it out. The main thing that sticks out to me over the previous monitors that I've had is this new Ultra HD resolution as well as it being a curved monitor. Yes, with curved TVs and monitors being a new thing the past two years or so, I never really bought into it, but seeing it firsthand, I really like it. The curve itself is very subtle, and it's not a dramatic curve that's gonna wrap around your vision like some people might think. It's a nice subtle curve that gives you great viewing angles when you're sitting in front of it. And honestly, when you're looking at it straight on, you're probably not even gonna notice it that much. So I think the subtle curve to it is really nice, and uh, it's a big bonus to these monitors. Now obviously, yes, if you had two or three wrapped around you, the curve would be much more noticeable and much more beneficial to gamers. But perhaps the biggest upgrade that I've noticed compared to my old monitors, despite the curve, is its higher resolution. This one comes in at 3440 by 1440, while my old one was just 2560 by 1080. A huge jump in resolution that looks extremely nice, very crisp, and even when I went back to my old monitor, I couldn't do it because the, the resolution change was very noticeable, and now I just can't go back. So before we get into my overall thoughts and opinions on it and how I use it as a gamer and a content creator, I'm gonna go through some of the specs for you guys. On the back of the monitor, you have two USB quick charge ports. So yes, you can actually use this to charge your phone or something, taking advantage of that Qualcomm quick charge. You have two Thunderbolt 2.0 ports. So you can use this with a Mac or a MacBook Pro, anything like that. Two HDMIs, one display port, and one USB 3.0. When you take off the stand, it is vase amount compatible, but the stand is really nice and it's also a huge upgrade over stands on these monitors in the past. The adjustable stand allows you to change the monitor from three and a half inches off the surface to eight inches. And the stand also allows a vertical angle adjustment on the screen, ranging from five degrees down to 15 degrees angled upward for a total of a 20 degree difference. On the bottom of the monitor, we have a nice little joystick in the middle that allows for easily navigating the menus. And the menus are great for changing whatever you wanna do on the fly. Volume can very easily be changed. You can go into the settings, change different color profiles, certain game modes, custom presets, all that good stuff that you could easily change with this joystick. I primarily stick to the FPS mode for gaming and the, uh, the photo mode for when I'm doing color correction on videos and stuff in Photoshop. So it's great that I have that already inside the monitor. There are also two speakers on the bottom of the monitor on each side, which are decent, but they're certainly not great and it's not gonna be a selling point. The screen is coated in a 3H anti-glare hard coat, which is gonna be awesome for preventing those really harsh reflections on your screen. The panel, as I mentioned, is 3440 by 1440 P with a 60 Hertz refresh rate and a five millisecond gray to gray response time. And lastly, before we move on, yes, this monitor is AMD FreeSync enabled, meaning this is gonna be great for anyone who has an AMD graphics card. A gamer, I should say. And now to my overall opinions and my experience with this monitor. I mentioned I used it for around three to four weeks total, and as a gamer and a content creator on YouTube and doing a lot of you know video editing and Photoshop stuff, I was kind of skeptical getting into the curved monitor game. I was very worried that since it is curved, my viewing angle looking directly at it would affect how I do stuff in certain programs like Photoshop. For example, if I'm working on a grid where I'm trying to align everything you know, with the rule of thirds, or I'm trying to have text 
properly aligned at a vertical or horizontal angle, I was worried that because of the curve, it would kind of throw that off and maybe make it look like it's on an angle, which would cause me then to readjust it and realign it when it didn't need to be. However, I did mention the curve is extremely subtle and I had no problems working in these programs and my workflow was not affected at all. And obviously since it is a 21 by nine ratio monitor, that nice ultra wide screen gives you a ton of real estate. And I take advantage of this because I can have, you know, Adobe Premiere and Photoshop open at the same time, both working very efficiently with the, both of the programs brought right up to me. And um, I just love ultra wide monitors. Honestly, I cannot go back to a, just a regular 16 by nine ratio monitor. And obviously with all these upgraded pixels, it is a huge upgrade working from just a regular 1080p monitor. It is instantly noticeable. It's gonna be great for, you know, taking advantage of that in gaming, or even if you're gonna be content creating and editing, you know, 4K footage, this screen's got you covered. And now I'll give you my take as a gamer because believe it or not, this monitor is heavily geared and focused towards gamers. A lot of their marketing shows tons of different, you know, gaming photos and advantages. And since this is an AMD FreeSync monitor, like I mentioned, obviously if you have an AMD graphics card, this is gonna be pretty much like a better version of a V-Sync enabled, so you don't have to have that on within the game to you know, limit vertical tearing. This, the monitor is gonna have that built in for you. But since I have an Nvidia card, I can't take advantage of that, but it's really not an issue. And now as a gamer, I will give you my input on some very noteworthy uh, things that I noticed right off the bat. And first is the 60 Hertz refresh rate. I feel like LG needs to step it up, at least go 75. Uh, I know 144 Hertz would be a dream, but probably not realistic. But I think in this day and age, it's 2016, gaming monitors are selling great, they're becoming much more consumer friendly. I would love to see a higher refresh rate instead of just 60 Hertz. However, thanks to my good friend Joker from Joker Productions, he has a video showing how to overclock your monitor. I will put that video right up top so you can check it out. But what's awesome is I got this monitor overclocked over DisplayPort to 81 Hertz. And that is a huge upgrade from 60 to 81, a 21 Hertz difference. And that was immediately noticeable, uh, which was great because in my games, you know, it was, it was a noticeable difference. And I like the fact that I could even push it that high. I was thinking maybe 70 to 75, but 81, that was awesome. Next was upping the DPI on my mouse. Um, typically for me, I play at an extremely high DPI setting, so I have very minimal movement of my arm and wrist. And since you are getting more pixels, take note, you'll probably have to up your DPI to accommodate for much more pixels on your screen. So definitely keep that in mind. Next was just out of curiosity, but I did some testing and played some games at 2560 by 1080 as opposed to 3440 by 1440p, still taking advantage of that ultra wide resolution, but just downscaled now to 1080p. And honestly, it looked really, really good. Obviously, it's not gonna be as crisp because you are downscaling, uh, but I've seen monitors in the past that just look horrible when you're playing on a higher resolution monitor with a lower resolution games. And this, that was not an issue at all. It still looked great. And for someone who can't play games at a higher resolution like that, or you know, your, your rig's kind of getting old and you can't just push games at a higher level like that, you should be able to take advantage of still playing games at 1080p and it's still looking awesome. And lastly is backlight bleeding, which a lot of monitors suffer from. It can absolutely kill your experience. And with this one, I was very surprised at how minimal it was. As you can see on the footage, uh, it is noticeable in the bottom left and bottom right hand sides of the screen towards the corners there. Just to note, in the top left hand side, uh, there was no bleed there. That was just light from the text. In the top right hand side was just light reflecting off the LED lights inside my uh, PC that was right next to the monitor. But for just having it in those bottom two sections, I think it's great because I've also seen monitors where it is just everywhere. Totally kills the experience. And I didn't actually even notice this until I was in the dark for around 10 minutes. At first I didn't notice it at all. I was ready to call it a day and say this monitor has no backlight bleeding at all. But after around 10 minutes, I did notice it, but it is still very minimal compared to some monitors out there. So big thumbs up for that. So to sum this all up, I am very happy with this monitor. It is a kind of a higher price point at around $1,100, depending on where you buy it. So yeah, you need to shell out the big bucks to pick one of these up but I think it is definitely worth it. It is a huge, huge upgrade over my previous monitors. 
I am loving the 3440 by 1440p resolution now. Editing, gaming, everything is just so much better at this higher resolution. I think the subtle curve to the monitor is very nice. The monitor itself is built very, very well. Looks extremely sleek, very sexy on my desk, and I love the way it looks. You know, other than the minor things I talked about, like the 60 hertz and the very, you know, just average speakers on it, uh, this thing gets a total thumbs up all around for me. And this is why I'm gonna be getting three of these, or maybe two or three, we'll see, for my upcoming uh, new gaming setup and studio for when I move in like two or three months. So, yeah, that's gonna do it, guys, for my review of the LG 34UC98 monitor. Definitely recommend it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up to show your support. If you have any questions, you can hit me up on Twitter, at randomfrankp. And lastly, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You're not going to want to miss out on any future tech reviews and room tour projects that I got coming up in the near future. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.